Dyne Dulan, Installation, Setup, and General Use. MO2 and Vortex, all links provided. Welcome to Gamer Poets. Note, don't use third-party billboards. TextGen now generates them on its own. A few terms to know. LOD, the stuff you see in the distance. Billboards, 2D images in the distance. 3D LOD, 3D models in the distance that are lower resolution than their up-close counterparts. Everything needed to get Dindu LOD running is shown both here on screen and linked in the description alongside individual videos that both cover and expand upon each mod to help you better utilize them. Know what version of Skyrim you are using. Open your Skyrim game folder. Right-click the Skyrim executable. Properties. Details. Note your product version. You also need to download Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, 22. Click the link for both x64 and x86. Install them one by one and follow the prompts for each. Finally, install .NET Runtime 6 Plus. Download both x64 and x86. Install them just like you did the Visual Studio stuff. When this is done, move on to the installation. At this point, here is what we have. SKSE 64. Papyrus Util, and optionally Race Menu and Sky UI, installed and enabled. Open the Dine to Lod mod page. Open files. Manually download the most recent version. Extract the Dine to Lod folder from the archive anywhere you like, other than the program files, game folders, or mod manager folders. I put mine with my modding tools. Open the resources page. Files. Mod manager download. Install it. At the installer, next for MO2 users, options for Vortex. What you choose is preference. I choose all visual options and desync Birds of Prey. Finish the installation. Activate the mod. Open the Dindulad DLL mod page. Files. Download the main file scripts via Mod Manager. Install and activate. These scripts load just slower than resources. Back on the DLL page, download the DLL via Mod Manager. Check both the main files and older files when browsing through for your version of Skyrim. Install and activate it. Have them load just slower than the scripts. And you are moving along wonderfully. Well done. MO2 users, open Modify Executables. Add Executable, add Empty. Vortex users go to your dashboard. Add tool, new. Name, Dine Do Lod. Argument, leave blank. Click the option to the right of target or binary. Navigate to the Dine Do Lod folder that we extracted from the archive. Double click Dine Do Lod x64.exe. Apply and or save. Okay. Again, MO2 users open modify executables. Add executable, empty. Vortex users add tool, new. Title, text gen. Command line argument, blank. Click the option to the right of target or binary. Dine to LOD folder, double click text gen x64. Apply and or save. Now to use this stuff. From your mod manager, launch text gen. Choose your game. Leave things here exactly as they are. Advanced users who have the time and confidence to test things out, check out my advanced video. I'll link it here when it's uploaded. Start text gen. Allow it some time to complete. Zip and exit. Navigate to and open the Dindu Lod folder. Open text gen output. Drag and drop the archive into your mod manager. Install and activate it. Vortex users load TextGen output after. Everyone, delete the TextGen output from your Dyne Do Lod folder 
in preparation for potential future use. From the MO2 drop-down or Vortex dashboard, launch Dindu Lod. Choose your game, start Dindu Lod. Select all of the world spaces to generate Lod for. These next options trade quality for performance. I suggest medium on your first usage. Once selected, the program will run. Advanced options will be covered in the advanced video. This process took about twice as long as TextGen. Various windows may open and close. Save, zip, and exit when complete. Back in the Dindulad folder, open the new Dindulad output. Drag the output archive into your mod manager. Install and activate it. Make sure all of the plugins are activated as well. Then delete the output from the Dindulad folder. Dindulad is now installed. Congratulations. The simplest way to avoid issues when updating anything is to wait until you start a new game. With that knowledge, if Dindulad itself has an update, simply delete everything that we've done today and start fresh by following the video back. If Dyn has not updated, but you add or remove mods that contain LOD for a new playthrough, just delete the Dyn to LOD in TextGen outputs, then regenerate and reinstall them by re-following this video. Now, if you just have to update your LOD and LOD mods mid-playthrough, this is how you do it. Launch the game. Open the Dyn to LOD MCM. Deactivate it. Wait for the deactivation message. Move your character to an interior cell. Save to a new slot. Quit the game. Open your mod manager. Delete the Dyn to LOD and TextGen outputs. Then regenerate and reinstall them by re-following this video. When done, launch the new save that we just created. Wait 10 game days. Save again to another new slot. Use this one to continue playing the game. Going forward, nothing should overwrite TextGen or Dindulad, outputs or plugins, unless mods that you use specifically say to do so. Keep them towards the end of your load order. The ESM will sort near the top, the ESP towards the bottom. Use loot if you are nervous about position. I'll link my updated loot video when it's complete. There's a handful of mods that require additional steps. Be sure to read your mod pages and Dindulad documents specifically the dindulad.info mods page. Finally, if you have SkyUI installed, there is an MCM that you can look over once you get in game. Happy lotting. It's a wonderful day today, this day, spending some time with you. I'll do my best, you do the rest, the best that you can do. Because all of us here are different. Yet we're all here just the same. Young and old across the globe playing these same old silly games. And video games, of course. I need to write more to that. Back to work.